<laughs> Hello, so today's video is going to be a bit more serious, hence the glasses. No, I'm, I'm just joking, I'm not going to wear the glasses. But it is going to be a more serious video, so yeah. Evelyn spoke about football in her video yesterday, which is a thing that she's interested in. So today I thought I would talk about something that I'm interested in. And I've been really passionate about campaigning for quite a while now um, because my parents um, are involved in a lot of international development work um, but only in the last year or so I, I have properly sort of got myself stuck in with campaigning work. When my Facebook profile picture isn't something ridiculous like the Wudwan Tabiali playing the banjo then it's usually a picture of me like just wearing like a t-shirt with a message on it so I've just realized I have so many different t-shirts with messages on it or promoting an organization for example right now I'm wearing a, a made in Europe t-shirt um yeah made in Europe Ooh. which is an organization which works to create a global youth movement and believes that young Muslims can and must play a role in the search for a solution um, to problems of poverty injustice climate change and conflict. All about young people, you know, getting active, learning about all these issues that we are facing and how to deal with them. There's a t-shirt for Islamic help that I have. I even have a t-shirt that says, I'm Muslim, don't panic. Fundraising, like a lot of charities use fundraising thing that they, as the biggest thing they do. For me, I don't think fundraising is the most important angle to tackle big problems because like there's a what is the there's a there's a famous quote i can't remember it word for word but it was something like if you give a man a fish then he can survive for a day but if you teach a man to fish then he can survive you know in the long term and so i think campaigning is really about that like if you raise awareness about a certain issue and then you tr go out and then try and find solutions for that issue um you know and you try and help a community or a country or you try and help a cause then you are actually doing something in the long term whereas if you just give throw money at a certain um, situation then it's not going to help for the long term whereas if you spread a message and try and keep me momentum for um, a certain cause then it will really make a difference why campaigning is so important to me is because it's given me so many opportunities so many amazing opportunities I've also been um, involved recently in a project for children's rights in Gaza. For example, during the children's rights in Gaza project, I was able to give a speech um, to people in the London Muslim Centre. That was amazing. And then this Thursday, in, me and my team that I've been working with um, for the children's rights in Gaza project have been invited to um, Parliament by um, Andy S Andrew by Andy Slaughter, um, who, who is a Labour MP, and we're going to present our campaign. At about 300 or so. MPs have been invited and so it's just a really amazing opportunity for us and without campaigning I would never have got to this stage. So during my campaigning um, experiences with Made in Europe and um, the Eat of the Good Things project we were given this campaign toolkit which was produced by Oxfam and Made in Europe. It, it's just a really um, helpful resource and it's really really good and, it's, and it gives you tips on you know how to campaign and there's a whole section on creative campaigning. And it just shows that campaigning can be done in so many different ways, like drumming for the MDGs. And the whole idea was um, make some noise for the MDGs, which are the Millennium Development Goals. So it's sort of pressuring the government to really meet their targets, but in a fun, creative way. Or it can be making a video, promoting something. Or it can be you know, going out there and holding a publicity stunt, um, such as, for, for example, for, the, for our Eat of the Good Things project on food waste, we, ho we held a publicity stunt in Tower Hamlet, Hamlets, where we all dressed up as superheroes, and it was all about showing that um, it's not only superheroes that can save our planet. In, a, in another creative way to campaign, we held an art exhibition for drawings that children in Gaza had um, produced. And so it's just campaigning can be such a fun and enjoyable thing, but at the same time, it's about promoting a cause and standing up for what you believe in and, you know, trying to really 
make a difference for the for the for your community and you know for the wider world around you and so for me essentially the reason i love campaigning is similar to why i love nerdfighteria and why i love islam because they're all about making the world a better place and making the world just a bit more awesome and making it a wonderful place to be and for people to enjoy because if campaigning organizations and NGOs like Oxfam and Made in Europe and all these different organizations, if they succeed in their campaigns and if they are able to actually make a difference and, you know, fight injustice and, you know, make people's lives better, then all these people that are suffering in, in developing countries will cease to suffer and they will enjoy the same opportunities that we enjoy in developed countries like the UK. And it's just such an important thing that everyone get equal opportunities and equal rights and that everyone is able to enjoy their lives and have the same standard of living. As always, don't forget to be awesome.